Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is me, Camilla, or Erin, whichever you know me as. I use them both. Um, I'm a transgender woman. I make videos on YouTube. Uh, I document my experiences, and I do this to share um, my experiences in a fashion of altruism, um, kind of lead by example, and the fact, in the way that. Um, I don't encourage medical transitioning. Um, not that I have very much cognitive dissonance with my own, but just the warnings and my true beliefs on it. I have a very moderate, uh, moderate to conservative approach on transgender topics. And I don't believe that the body is biologically designed to change your sex. It's not what the body is designed to do. It's not what if you believe in God, it's not what God intended for your body. Or if you believe in evolution, it's not what science biologically intends for your body to do. But with the element of gender dysphoria, that being the main proponent, this drives people to feel a disconnect from their brain and their body. So, for example, uh, I'm an intersex person, so this is a bit of, I'm a bit different than what I'm about to explain but I do deal with gender dysphoria. Gender dysphoria feels like in your brain, you're born with like, for me, born with a woman's brain, but born on the outside with a man's body. And that incongruency um, is something that I've had to deal with for a majority of my life. Now, I've made it the video at least two or three times on why someone transitions. And the bottom line is gender dysphoria. But I'm gonna share something I left out on all my videos and it's very personal to me and it may not be applicable to other trans people but for myself i'm going to share something very personal with you um i'm an only child and and my parents uh in my household growing up my mom wore the pants so to speak she called all the shots she uh controlled the finances like she dictates everything still to this day um, and as a result, my father, as well as myself, were emasculinated for so long. My whole life, I grew up being emasculinated by my mother. Not just because my mom was the one calling the shots, but because I truly um, was put in a predicament in my life where I felt like living as a woman would be more beneficial to me, that life would be easier. Um, looking back at it, I do have some cognitive dissonance towards my transition, but that's not what um, was the main proponent and what encouraged me. Not having uh, a father figure in that sense, uh, having a mother playing the role of the father figure, kind of threw off gender roles in my brain. So I grew up thinking, well, I have more power and more capability if I was a woman. And using that logic, um, it would give me a reason to transition beyond gender dysphoria. Um, transsexuality is so much deeper than just gender dysphoria. And in every transition, there is a seed planted in someone's brain. Uh, and that seed contains different reasonings for why this person will blossom into a person of the opposite sex in which they were born. Now, um, another reason that I dealt think that I transitioned was I may have been a closeted closeted homosexual and did not know of my own homosexuality. Like I may have been completely um, oblivious to it, so to speak. And even when I may have acknowledged it growing up as a boy or as a teenager, um, I'm trying to think how to put this. Um, I felt like if I transitioned into a woman, it was the only way it would let me be uh, intimate with men on a sexual level or a romantic level and being transitioning into a woman, making that not gay. So I think it was seeded that plant, that seed I taught you, told you about, that planted was my own homophobia. And um, I do believe that. I truly believe being emasculinated my entire life as well as using, uh, my transition to justify to myself that I can see men uh, without having that homosexual element. Little did I know that transsexuality was much more difficult than even navigating the world as a homosexual. And I may be completely wrong about that, and pardon me if, I, if you disagree, but 
I just truly believe, you know, the gay rights movement has been fighting since the AIDS epidemic of the 80s or even before then. Transgender stuff is just now in the past 10, 15 years becoming really popular on TV and everything. And I hate to see it politicized. As I stated, if you've seen in my videos, I'm conservative in the fact with transitions and transgender related stuff, I am very conservative. I don't believe you can change your sex. You can just alter your hormones and your body surgically to resemble the opposite sex. Um, overall, that is the reasoning why I transition in a nutshell. Growing up being emasculinated, uh, feeling like being a man just, uh, it would be harder for me to live life if I was a man. And that living as a woman and presenting as a female would be easier on me. Um, I know that I'm just living as a woman because I'm not one. I'm intersex. I was born with persistent malaria and duck syndrome. Now, I do believe that has a lot of weight on why I am uh, living the way that I live, but I do believe that um, not just because I'm an hermaphrodite, but also um, just because of the things that I've talked about. And those are just a few things that are on the top of my head. I'll make a part two to this video if you've learned anything from it, if you relate with it, um, if you have any questions, please go ahead and comment down below and I will respond to your comments. I promise um, comments help my algorithm and help spread these videos to spread awareness and um, you know try to stop people from transitioning if they don't absolutely have to. I make these videos to help other people um, and share my experience and do do trial and error so they don't have to go through that. Um, I do do this out of altruism more than anything else. I don't make much money off of these videos. I make these videos to help others. But anyway, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a video. Uh, thank you so much for watching and next time I'll see you. Bye-bye.